So today's video is directed at all my male followers. Normally, some of the messages I'm putting across about mindset, tricks and things that I've learned throughout my career, um, some of the approaches I use to get through lockdown or, or to improve performance, I've been directed at everyone. But I think men have a real issue that we need to address, and I know people are trying their very best to do it. It's no surprise that suicide is the biggest killer of men under 40. I get messages all the time from people, uh, and it's really humbling and really nice to have that kind of feedback where men have said, you know what, we're really enjoying your podcast, Good to Buy the Rugby, What a Flank, we're really enjoying your book, it's helped me get through a difficult lockdown, I've been having a really dark period of time, I've been feeling very negative, I've been feeling very upset, but uh, your humour has got me through, your attitude has got me through, and that's, that's amazing. I'm not saying I've saved anyone's life, but I'm saying that's really kind of nice to hear. Another extension of that is you get people saying that they're lost, um, you know, they're feeling really ba bad, they're feeling really down, they're feeling really dark, they don't know what to do. Um, could I give them some words of, of motivation? And then you get the other extreme where you said, listen, um, you know, I've gambled my life away, I, I'm, I'm in desperate need of money, I wondered if you could give me some money, I'm too ashamed to speak to my wife, I'm supposed to marry my wife, but I can't do it because I'm, I'm so, in, so in debt. I always find that a little bit surprising that you would rather go to someone you've never met on social media and ask them for money as opposed to actually talking to your wife and addressing things. And that's really the message. It's about opening up and, and actually speaking and talking to people. And men on both sides of the fence, friends and the actual people suffering all have a responsibility. And I don't think we're doing that because all the videos I've done about an excuse culture, using negativity, um, you know, being sort of comfortable with, with, with failure and, and, and mediocrity. Some of these are flippant comments that are there to provoke thought, but sometimes they don't necessarily come with a solution to the problem. And sometimes the solution to the problem is actually reaching out to people that are doing what you want to do, but better, reaching out for help and asking for help. So when I was 17, I was really struggling um, with self-confidence issues, and it's, it's plagued me throughout my whole career. All the way through, at 35, I still have issues around it. I know you know, we have to follow me on, on social media or see me in the media to know that I'm a, a massive show off and I enjoy attention, but behind that facade is, is somebody that has a lot of self-doubt a lot of the time. But I actually went out and reached out to someone and saw, started seeing a psychologist aged you know, 18, and, and I've always seen someone throughout this period of time because I knew that I couldn't deal with what I was going through. I knew that there was people out there with a skill set to help me improve. Now the secret to therapy, in my opinion, is, is only you can fix you. A therapist will give you the tools and will remind you and you do mental triggers and rehearsals and little bits and pieces to get you through that, but only you can fix you. But sometimes we don't see the solution. So while I'm advocating mindset, men, for fuck's sake, reach out and speak to people. Right? If you can't speak to your partner, there are professionals out there. There are some unbelievable charities like Mind, for example. There are independent hotlines. If you're feeling dark, if you're questioning things, and even if you don't think there is a way out, sometimes your fear is worse than reality. How many times in life have you been so fearful about telling somebody something, thinking they're gonna have such a terrible reaction, and you've gone and spoken to them, and more often than not, they've been so accepting? You know, I even saw it with, with Caitlyn Jenner. I was talking to her in the jungle about her transformation and how she um, thought her whole life, how she, no one was gonna accept her, that she wasn't able to transition. Um, but when she came out and told everyone, everyone was blown away and so accepting and kind. And sometimes that fear can really um, you know, get into your head and make you make bad decisions. So my, my suggestion is, if you want to improve, so everything about my videos about mindset and improving is, is trying to find people who can help you. And people wanna help other people. So don't be standing by and just ignoring stuff and, and letting stuff build up on you. If you're having a bad day, pick up the phone. And lads, if you know your friends are struggling, it's so simple just to gloss over, ignore it. But when you pick up the phone and your mate goes, I'm fine, ask, are you really fine? Are you happy? You know, that's important. Everyone always asks, are you okay? But never ever asks, are you happy? Are you happy? And so don't take no for an answer. If you know someone's struggling, you've got to be there for them. And there's no point, you know, after someone has done something terrible, like taking their life going, I wish I'd done more. You have the opportunity to do more now. And even if it's just a tiered approach. So the simplest thing is, I want to improve my life. I want to improve my education. I want to improve my career. Find people who can help you. Find people who will inspire you and go and ask for help. Go and use independent free free services. The world is full of free help for you to go and do that. Next tier now, if you're struggling with mental health issues, don't bottle it up. Speak to a professional, come clean to a friend. If you can't come clean to a partner, come clean to a friend. And like I said, if, if you're really, really concerned with your own mental health, concerned about doing something silly, reach out to a professional. Go and speak to the NHS. There are, are services and ways and means, and there is always a way out. And uh, I think it's just really important that we do that because while reaching out to me is fantastic, I'm not a professional. I'm not ever here to say I can fix your mental health. I'm more, more about giving you a different mindset and a different approach, so it's really important. 
that you take this on board and see this as an opportunity. Because please, 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 don't sit there in silence. It's just something that really matters to me because we're getting people you know, messaging the guys on the show, uh, the Good, the Bad, the Rugby, you know, saying how desperately sad they are and how they don't know what to do and where to turn to. But there are people to turn to. And the friends of these people, you know, you need to be aware. Check in with your mates. In WhatsApp groups, women are asking each other how you, know, how you are, what's going on, oh my God, you know, all this kind of stuff. And if someone's had a breakup, women are there for you. Men are just sending dick pics and that bloke with a massive schlong all around. And that's all you say and all you do. But actually, pick up the phone because we're all in a bit of a difficult situation here. And like I said, it doesn't make you weak to get professional help. It's one of the best things. And sometimes you don't even have to have a problem to get help. If I could tell you you can improve performance by speaking to a psychologist, improve your mindset, be a better all-round person, be more successful at life, you don't need to have had some tragedy in life. It's all about using the power of your mind and using it as a tool. If I said you could run faster by buying a pair of trainers, you would do it. If I said you could change your life by speaking to someone, I bet you wouldn't do it. Anyway, just a thought for a, for a little Sunday. Please check in with your mates, stay strong, and uh, I'll catch you all soon.